All right, Trevor, what game are we playing today? Alien Frontiers. Sweet. And do you like Alien Frontiers? Yeah, I do. Ooh, why? Because of just the theme. The theme is really fun. I like the variability, and the dice are really cool because they're colored. Oh, sweet. Let's take a look at those. Oh, there we are, zooming down on this planet. Yep. Cool. Looks like there's a lot of stuff, a lot of options. Is it very confusing? Um, it might look confusing at the first glance, but once you know how to play it, like most all other games, then it's pretty simple, pretty easy. All right. Well, cool. Well, what is the point in Alien Frontiers? The point, of course, is to win. To win, you get the most points. Over here, your rocket ship, there can be up to four players. You pick a color, mm -hmm. and whoever has the most points at the end wins. Um, by getting points, you place your colonies, which are here in the four colors, okay. um, on the planet here to colonize the planet. You get points for that. Sweet. So, how you do that is by rolling dice. Every person starts out with three dice of their color. So say I was green. Okay. I would have three dice to start with. Um, you use your dice in one of these stations around the board that has these uh, square spaces. So all those big squares are for dice placement. Sweet. Right. Okay. So what you do is you roll your dice and based on what your dice roll is, that tells you where you can put your dice. So, so you can plan a lot of things of what you want to do, but but it all comes down to your still dice. Still comes down to the dice. Yeah. Okay. So that's another thing I like. It's the mixture of luck and uh, strategy. Nice. So I'll start down here. What the colonist hub is is for every um, dice you put on there, you move your colony up one. So if I just put one dice on, I put it up. It doesn't matter. What number is on the dice, you only move it up one for however many dice you put there. So that's what those little symbols are around the board. I see down there the right. question mark. That means any number. Mm -hmm. Move it ahead. Okay? Right. Great. So the next one is the shipyard. If you roll two numbers that are equal to each other, so if I rolled doubles, four, I could put doubles here, four. But then there's these symbols down here. Um, the oranges are stand for energy up here and the grays stand for ore down here. And I'll get to those in a second, but what I would do basically is, if I played doubles, I'd pay one of those, each of those, to get another ship for my next turn. The, your dice are ships. Sweet. And so now I have a fourth dice, and that's how you get more dice. For your next turn. Right. Um, terraforming is like quick, easy colonies, except you need more than three dice. If you only have three dice, you cannot use a terraforming station. Okay. What it is, is if you roll a six, you can put it there, and you pay that, and you immediately place a colony on the planet. But then, the catch is, this dice is now out until you buy it again. Oh, so that's what that red is. It's so that's why you game. can never go below three dice. Mm, sacrifice a six. Okay. Right. Um, so that's one way to immediately get a colony out there. Right. Sweet. Then okay. this solar converter is based on here. You put a dice on here, and that's how much energy you get. If I put a one or two, I'd get one three or four or two and et cetera. And so if I put a five and a three on there, I'd get three plus two. So I'd get five total energy. Nice. Um, this orbital market is, again, if I roll doubles, um, I can pay for how many pips are on the dice. So two, it would be one energy times two. So two energy for one ore. Okay. If I roll double threes, it would be Three energy for one ore. So ore must be ore critical is, in this game. Yeah, if you're ore is be, pretty good and it's usually solar. pretty hard to get. Okay. I'll get to that. Alien tech cards are these cards over here that will modify your dice rolls. Uh, um, they can really flip the game. I like getting these cards. They're fun. Um, but what you do is if you, you have to put enough dice to equal eight or greater to take one of the cards. Okay. If you don't like any of the cards, you can put down any number that's less than eight and <laughs> yeah. reshuffle them and put out three more cards. Okay. And these are cool because they give you, as I'll zoom in on a few, mm -hmm. they give you different abilities. Right. Which some of them are going to let you do dice rolls. Some are going to add, uh, uh, yeah, change your dice, things like that, or even give you victory points. Yeah. Sweet. So I like getting these cards. Next one is Raider's Outpost. This means if you have a straight, like two, three, four, you can put them here. 
and you can order backwards. <laughs> yeah, well, that's how it is to me. But what it is is if you you can steal four of any resource from another player. So if another player has like five energy and three ore, you can steal four of any of them, or you can steal an alien tech card from one player. Ooh, I like stealing cards from you. Yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, except for you. Then we have the lunar mine, which is how you get ore. What you do is your first one, if you are the only one on this lunar mine, you can place any number you want to. But then the next one you have to place has to be equal to or greater than two. So that's where it gets to a bunch of people put sixes, and then the only way to get ore is to roll a six and put a six there. Okay, which you brought up another point. Why is it that other people affect your game? Because. Sure. They like to roll dice too, dang it, and make, just take up the spots. There's only a certain number of spots for each um, yeah, space. Okay. Because your dice stay out, or your ships stay out on the board until, until your next turn, and then you gather all your dice up. Like, um, let me get to this one. Oh, yes, I forgot we had one more to go. Yeah. This one is hardly ever used in our games, but it's when you roll triples, you can pay three or to make a colony immediately. So another quick way to get a colony out. But you have to have three ore, so. Yeah, and roll triples. Right. But again, using your alien tech cards, you can make them triples. Then, the last thing I want to explain before I get to colonization is these little dots in the uh, corners of the squares. Oh, yeah. That means, depending on how many players you have, if you have two players, which is the minimum amount, Okay. Um, that means you fill up these with the extra dice. So now there's only one spot you can place on. So in a two-player two player game, two, you're fighting for the shipyard. Mm -hmm. or, right. And okay. then if you have three players, you uh, can use the two, but you still put it on a three. Okay. Now yeah. it's placing colonies. So say I got to the end of this, and I paid to place my colony somewhere. What, what these do is once you place a colony, it gives you on that automatically gives you a point for placing a colony. Then, if you have the majority in that section represented by these dotted lines, you get another point. So if you control a section, which means you have the majority, you get the bonus of that section and uh, another point. Sweet. So. so each one of these sections have bonuses which correspond um, for the most part, to whatever the next two. So I see their dotted lines. I see, their yeah, dotted see those lines. dotted lines. That's yeah. what the bonuses will correspond so. to. Then there's this middle one, which is always usually the most fought after in our games. Um, it gives you an extra dice. Cool. That means you pay an ore and an energy to get the dice, and you use it. You can use this dice in all of your rolls until someone takes over this spot, or you look until you no longer have the majority. So that's pretty cool. So all those things are what the costs are, what it takes. So for example, you can move your colonies up faster. Mm -hmm. You can get more ore on your roll. So depending on what abilities you want. Right, then you put it there. I like to go for this one because of its bonus, which means you pay one less energy for your alien tech cards. Your alien so tech cards. That's cool. Fun. So those are easy to remember. And then if someone comes in and places a colony there. Yeah, if I, someone comes in there, I lose the bonus for majority in that. They gain the colony, and now nobody has this because no one has it. So on that, that points board, it's constantly... Yeah, this one's always fluctuating. It may seem like someone's way up here, and then towards the last three turns of the game, they'll move down two, and they'll move up a bunch. So the last couple turns of the game are always really decisive and who's going to win. Even though it's still only dice roll, that's what I like. I like the mixture of luck and strategy in this. So what would you rate Alien Frontiers then? I would give it a 4.25. Ooh, nice. Getting very specific, huh? Uh, well, somewhere between a 4 and a 4.5. I feel like it's in a higher range. You know. Nice. Sweet. All right. Thanks, Trevor. You bet.